languages. Love languages. Tell us the love languages. Okay, so I feel like we've talked about love languages, not on the pod, but just in general with each other. And I always thought everyone knew what a love language was. But I was talking to a friend of ours the other day, and I brought up love languages because she was telling me a story. She was like, I was t- I'm talking to this guy that I like, and our communication's been off lately. Like, he it just seems like he's pulling away and she was giving me examples and I was like, well, maybe it's because he receives love differently that you're giving him. Like what's his love language? She's like, what's a love language? I'm like what? How do you, I I didn't shame her. I was like, Oh my gosh, you don't know what a love language is. (laughs) So I was, I was explaining her the difference, like how you give love is different than how you receive love. And this man maybe is a words of affirmation and you're more of acts of service. So he to see to show him that you like him he might want like you're cute you look great today how was your day and you want to receive love by i want him to take me out to dinner and spend quality time with me Mm -hmm. but like since you guys don't know how you receive or give love your communication's being a little a little icky a little a little little, a little (laughs) rubbing against one another and it was just like very eye-opening because i thought i assumed which i should never assume that everyone knew what a love language was but they don't, and it's so fascinating. Okay, give us the five. Okay, so you have quality time, words of affirmation, acts of service, um, physical touch. Sorry. And then giving gifts. Okay. Are acts of service and giving gifts the same? I don't know. No, I think just gifts is like, yeah, it. like physical, tangible gifts is like. Okay, so yeah. acts of service, giving gifts, physical touch, words of affirmation, and quality time. Okay, so. I was digging into this because I knew we were going to talk about it. And I thought it would be, I thought like to do as a discussion, I found points against it kind of like, but they're thought starters. Oh, okay. But they're like, I, I don't, I don't, it's not a neck. I'm all for the love languages, mm-hmm. but they haven't existed forever. So I thought that was interesting. That's very correct. Yeah. Like I love things that if they did them in the caveman times, I'm like, okay, it's probably a thing. But then if it's like a new one, I'm like, well, what's going on with that? They didn't do it at Yellowstone. It's not real. <laughs> you can't do it on a horse. I'm not for it. <laughs> oh, my God. No, we're trying to figure out themes for my best friend's bachelorette party right now. And they were like, ask them to me. And I was like, space cowgirl, beach boots. And they were like, come on. You got to give us <laughs> like, something stop. different. I was you're, like, I'm so sorry. You're like Barbie cowgirl, space cowgirl, <laughs> uh, real cowgirl, country cowgirl, city cowgirl. And they were like, we're not doing any of those. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I don't You're on the mind. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> um, okay, so I saw this article that was talking about how love languages can be an oversimplification of us. Like, we can't fit into these all five boxes. And I thought, no, I think we can. Mm-hmm. Like, because we all know our love language. We know how to give and we know how to receive. Like, we mm-hmm. know how our partner wants to receive and we know how to give. And so it was like, it's an oversimplification of us as, a, as people. And I thought, probably not. Because I'm for the five love languages. But then it said, because it can result in you keeping score. And I thought, that was really fascinating. Oh. So if you're like, I know your gifts and I brought you a gift, then I'm kind of like, when is she going to give me my words of affirmation? What's your favorite part about love languages? So I like, I love love languages. (laughs) I love love languages. (laughs) Because I I think it just, it's a really good way to, like, I don't know how to describe it, but like have a healthy love connection with your partner. Mm -hmm. And it also helps me realize the type of person I am. Like I am quality time. I'll give my past relationship example. I feel bad. I'm just like my past relationship, but that's all I have to stand up now (laughs) to do it. I'm not in a relationship. Um, I love, sorry. (laughs) And it was serious. Very. Yeah, it was very, it was five years. It was very serious, but I am words of affirmation and quality time. Okay. My partner was physical touch. Yeah. So I, lacked the physical touch because I was just at the time only thought love language was one-sided, but I had to learn like, okay, just because that's not how I receive love. doesn't mean that's not how he receives love. So I need to learn how to give love to my partner based off of his love language. And I need to be more physically touchy. And mm-hmm. then he needs to be more words of affirmation to me and more quality time with me, even though he doesn't receive love that way. Right. Like that's the thing about it is I think when you, I think that's the pro because it's hard because the way you view love languages is so healthy, Mm -hmm. but I don't think it's the way everyone does. I view them how you do. Yeah. Like I think through them that way as well. And then it's like, you know, you have to give one way, receive another and your partner has to know that as well. Yeah. Well, I feel like a lot of people are closed minded and they're like, well, 
I receive love this way, so my partner has to receive love that way too. Right, and it, and the problem with that is it puts the power of being loved in somebody else's hands. Yeah. Oh. That's Ooh. that's like my biggest con on it because it's like if you don't understand the way love languages work, then you're like, well, I'm waiting to be loved because he's supposed to give me this. Yeah. And it's like, well, no, you have to you have to have your cup full. The love languages is an added bonus. It requires communication. But you can't just walk around and be like, he's got to do acts of service for me Mm -hmm. or I won't feel loved. So you have to communicate it. You have to to tell him. You have to. It's like kind of a weird conversation or like something to ask someone if you're maybe first dating them. But it's Mm -hmm. so important because Mm -hmm. even in friendship, I am words of affirmation. So if you guys aren't giving me reassurance that you love me on a daily basis, I'm going to panic. I do think that's good to know in a, in a, I think you should do them. It's like therapy. I think you should do them all days. But especially on the rainy days when you need the umbrella, where it's like, if you're having a hard time, I never actually do this, but knowing yours is words of affirmation, it would be good of me to be like, okay, this could, this would be a time when we could use words of affirmation. It's not when you want me to bring you Starbucks. No. That's not going to do it for you. No, I could care less about that. But you have to like, I also think one of like the things I struggled with the most of it was using it as a quick fix though, instead of fixing the underlying problem. Being like, well, I know if I do this, we could solve that for today. But then it's like, you didn't really fix it in you. Yeah. I just like tried to help fix it, which I like. I like that because I think it's helpful. But I think the thing about love language is they're, they're an everyday thing, not a rainy day thing. It makes me think it's more of like, it's more understanding like what will make them like really upset. Like the lack thereof is what is like what you're trying to avoid. Like mm-hmm. I'm physical touch, I would say. So if Mike like, I should probably make him listen to this episode, actually. Mm-hmm. If he, like, pulls his hand, off, like, away from me if we're, like, holding hands, I am, like, irrationally, uh, like, mad. Or, like, two ni- like, a few nights ago, he came to bed, like, after me and, like, didn't give me a kiss goodnight. And I was, like, so irate. I, like, got up and, like, started reading a book in the living room. Like, I'm crazy. But that's your that's thing. Because it means so much to me. And he's like, why are you, like, being so dramatic? Because it means so much to me. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like and it just, sa- it seems like such a stupid thing, but it's like the lack of it is what is so upsetting. I love thinking about it kind of in reverse. Yeah. I do too. Because there's, it, we can't be one. Yeah. But you can know the, the trigger point. Like if I don't do, she's going to be, a, so it's like, take you for example, your physical touch. You're going to be a lot of things, but, but kiss you goodnight. Mm-hmm. Like you, you don't need to get me a gift. I don't really care about that. Mm-hmm. But if you don't, if you fucking pull your hand away from me, if we're holding hands walking down the street, I am like crazy, like spiral, like upset. Like, why did you just do that? That was so mean. Like, there was no reason for you to pull your hand away. There was no one coming. Why'd you do that? Right. That's Literally like, every time. <laughs> I love you. Like when I was in my relationship, I was like, you have to tell me you love me every day. Yeah. And if you don't, I'm going to flip shit. Like get off the phone with someone and they don't say, I love you. I'm, ex- I'm sorry. What? Really? So I wouldn't even think about that. That's so interesting. Like, even with my parents, I'm like, I love you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hello. I <laughs> love you. Say back. Say back. Yeah. Like, or like when I would say I love you and they'd be like, you too. I'm like, oh, do not pull the you too. <laughs> you type out or you say I love you too. Do not say you too. I yeah, put the L, put the L word in there. And don't say love you. Say I love you. Like I'm, you're right. I'm crazy That's, about that. Mm-hmm. I'm irrational about that. That must be your thing. <laughs> it is. And quality time. If my, if someone doesn't give me quality time, like if I was dating someone who only wanted to hang out with their friends and me, I would flip shit. I need alone time. Yo, oh, 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 I see what you're saying. I no. need to be one on one. But see, like this is this is my problem. Listening to you two feel so passionately about these. <laughs> There's not one on the list. Like. I think of the five love languages, I identify with like four of them, but then I'm like, I'm not, I don't feel so passionately about all of them, which is why I feel like we, I'm like, how are we one? Hmm. But so I like the whole, you might have like, um, no room for error or like not hitting one on the head because it'll cause like the pop. Yeah. I agree with that. Like steer clear of. Of, of not saying I love you if it's words of affirmation or like not kissing her goodnight if it's physical touch because it'll make them spiral. Mm-hmm. We're not, maybe yours is gifts, but it goes beyond like physical gifts. Maybe it's like, Graham, you know, like cooking you dinner. Mm-hmm. Is, is that an act of service or is it a gift? I don't know. That's kind of like where Any it gets confusing. Service. But you know, the, bir- the birthday thing triggered you. Yeah, I like to be thought of. Yeah, maybe from that's more him. of like what gifts is. I think to I be think considered. so because remember how you told me when I when I bought you dinner how much that meant to you. Oh, I did say true. that. Yeah, yeah. Do you want to know something really funny? What? 
<laughs> what? I just thought of this. So, <laughs> you, so you're really good about always being like, love you to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so embarrassing. And I remember one time, like a month ago, you always say love you before you leave. And you didn't say it. And I walked away and I was like, no. <laughs> I was literally, I was like, oh my God, she didn't say it because I don't have a lot of friends who are consistent. You're very consistent about love you. You always say, you're like, love you, bye. And then one time you didn't say it, I was like, oh my God, she hates me today. <laughs> she, oh my God. She hates me. <laughs> I had no idea. I don't even remember it. That's what I mean. Like, I just, they just like, I forgot about that, but it just sparked something. So I was like, well, maybe with friends too, but you're my only friend who's consistent about saying love you. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Now that, and there's my question. So I know that's yours and now your physical touch. Yeah. I wouldn't say as much as friends though. <laughs> yeah. so now I'm like, oh fuck. You want us to hold your hand? <laughs> no. What? If, like, okay. So if I know both of yours. The least concern I have is what mine is because you're supposed to give them to me. So am I just supposed to walk around like shooting like <laughs> your, your guys is at you? That's my thing with this whole deal. I'm like, so you're a pew, 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 love you, love you, love you. And you're like, I'm going to come give you a hug every morning. So like I'm constantly. No, I think it's different with friends though. Cause I don't, yeah. I'm not that touchy with my friends. Me. Either. Yeah. It's yeah, so I'm different def- with friends. I, yeah. You're just the, I'm, it's more of, it was like a, it was funny because you're the only friend who you're like, I love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> love you. Bye. Love, love, you, bye. love you. Bye. Okay. Um, so in my head, I think I was just like, Oh my God, she didn't say it. I wonder if she's mad at me today. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my God. No. That's also happens when you're single and you don't have any, <laughs> anyone else. To tell you if I'm mad them. at you, you will know. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But definitely different for friends and, uh, yeah. And, uh, romantic partners. Yes, very, <laughs> very highly. I know. I always la- like. Yeah. Well, I feel like we. I can't. I can't be touchy with my girlfriends. I, I love yeah, being touchy not. with guys, obviously. But I'm, I've never been on that friend who's like, you know, some friends like can like cuddle or hug all the time or like I'm. I can't. I'm not like that either. Do not. Yeah. Do don't not like touch me. me. <laughs> don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me. When somebody says like my love language is physical touch, I'm like, Wah! like I hate when like a friend will like grab your hand or like put their legs on you. I'm like, please don't Get off. touch me. Oh yeah. I have a one. This one friend that like if you sleep with her, she spoons you. No. no. And she rubs your her no. foot. No. Her leg. No. no. And she does it to everyone, and everyone's no. like, oh, who's sleeping with Lisa tonight? Not, not me. me. Never. <laughs> Ever. I have. No, I would kill. <laughs> yeah, she myself. literally like crickets your leg with her no, foot. No, no, no. Yeah. It's fucking crazy. And I nobody can't. wants that. Like no. No. that's my thing with physical touches. You you need it, but you're touching another person who might not want to be touched. Yeah, I don't like physical touch with friends at all. Mm-hmm. Like, no, no, ma'am, no, ma'am. <laughs> I'm like, <"Ooh." laughs> I can't, I can't do it. 